What's shaking guys, Magic Activator here back again for episode number 4 of our Pokemon Soul Silver Randomized Nuzlocke. Now in the last episode, we got Pokeballs from Lyra and decided to go ahead and start building up the team just a little bit. And not gonna lie, the team's looking pretty nice right now. We got some uh, pretty sweet encounters in the last episode, if I do say so myself. So if you missed out on any of that action, definitely, definitely go and check it out if you want. But that being said, today we're going to be continuing towards Violet City. We're going to battle some trainers, and I believe there's a couple more encounters we can get along the way. So if you are hyped for some more Pokemon Soul Silver, want to share your support, be sure to hit that like button down below for us. Give it your magic touch because your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. That being said, though, we're going to jump in and do a t quick team recap. Uh, and I actually decided to go ahead and grind all the team up just a little bit just to get everybody on par with each other in between episodes. And I didn't do a grinding montage because it took like two minutes and it wasn't but a few levels each. So it wasn't really a big deal. But uh, we'll go ahead and check out the team. First up, we got Bellarive, our Milotic, the starter you guys voted for. Uh, rocking out at level six and it's got uh, Water Gun, Wrap, and Water Sport. Next up, we got Creeper, our Oddish, level five with a docile nature. Nice and neutral, holding the lucky egg for boosted experience. Rocking out with Absorb and Sweet Sense. Next up, we've got Kenai, our Ursaring, which, by the way, it is pronounced Kenai, not Kenai. I said that wrong. I looked it up at the end of the last episode, like I said I would, and it's actually pronounced Kenai. So, Kenai, our Ursaring, level 5, nice and lonely nature, which boosts attack, which is actually pretty good for an Ursaring, not gonna lie. Drop defense isn't the best thing, but hey, you know, we can rock with it. And it's got guts, which is kind of crazy, because uh, in the last episode, I paralyzed this thing when I was trying to catch it. And I was like, oh man, I hope this thing doesn't have guts because it might blow me back. We might have messed up. It had guts, so I guess we just got lucky and it didn't completely destroy our lives. But anyway, it's got Scratch, Leer, Lick, and Fake Tears as its moves. And last but not least, we've got our old friend Pearl the Dragonite all the way back from the red randomized Nuzlocke. Oh, which was the first LP we did on the channel. Pearl the Dragonite is back, level 5, holding the Draco Plate. Uh, to boost that Twister attack, and it's also got Rap, Leer, and Thunder Wave. It was just, it was destiny, guys. We got a Draco Plate on Route uh, 30 in the second episode, and then we got a Dragonite in episode 3. So, it was destiny, guys. It was destiny. But anyway, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and start battling some trainers and making our way towards Violet City. And first up is the most famous trainer in all the Johto region, Mr. Youngster Joey. Uh, I just lost. I'm trying to find more Pokemon. Wait, you look weak. Come on, let's battle. Yeah, so Youngster Joey is one of the most iconic uh, NPCs. Actually, it's Swimmer Marilyn. So, one of the most iconic and most famous NPCs from uh, Pokemon Gold and Silver. He's here. I guess his name's Marilyn now. So, Youngster Joey, Marilyn, like... I mean, Marilyn, Man uh, Marilyn Monroe is famous, so... Hey, I guess it works, you know? But anyway, uh, I'm reaching here. But let's go ahead and I'm going to switch into Creeper. I th Wait, no, you probably have Peck. You're a Goldeen. You probably have Peck. So let's try Kenai out. Let's send in Kenai. And you guys haven't got to see Kenai in action yet because we got him right at the end of the last episode. So let's just see how much that attack is really going to do. So we'll hit this Goldeen with a Scratch attack. It's just dropping my defense like crazy, though. Check this damage. I mean, that's pretty decent. That's pretty decent. I honestly thought it might do a little bit more, but that's that's pretty solid damage. Just a three-hit KO. Although it is level five. It's right on par with us uh, with the level modifier on. I think it's probably normally level four, if I had to guess. But who knows? I, I, I don't remember every single detail. I remember a lot about the second gen games, but there's... A lot that I don't remember as well, like specific details on things. But anyway, I do know he had a Rattata, not a Goldeen. I do know that much. So nice. We got some some nice and uh, nice levels of experience there, which is pretty pretty sweet. I'm actually pretty happy with the rate that their experience goes up, even though uh, these mods are pretty wild. Uh, to be honest, he wants her phone number. I'm going to say no just because I don't want him calling me every 10 minutes. And his name's not even Youngster Joey, so it's not even going to feel right when he calls. And he's like, oh, my Goldeen is in the top percentage of Goldeens. Anyway, we'll battle this guy instead. You're a Pokemon trainer, right? Then you have to battle. 
I mean, do I have to? Do I, like, actually not have a choice? Swimmer J Zoe. So we had Youngster Joey, Swimmer Zoe. The bars are real. You have a Suicune! What? Okay. Um... I'm gonna go into Creeper and hope that you don't have an Ice-type move. I'm gonna go into Creeper and hope you don't have an Ice-type move. Because as long as you don't have an Ice-type move, this is good training for Creeper. It'll give us a good amount of experience because it's a Legendary, or it should anyway. And... Yo, Creeper! Turn down, man! Oh my goodness, Creeper just putting in the utmost work. Just... Creeper said, you know what, Suicune? You, you a legendary? I'm a legendary. That's what... <laughs> Look at that. Absorb, my dude. Absorb's not even that good of a grass-type move, and it just bodied... I mean, we're three levels higher than it, I guess, but still. Calm down, Creeper. Creeper said, what's a legendary? I've never heard of him. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Uh, we got... Dang, that was a lot of experience. Although we had the lucky egg. I forgot about that, which is... I would forget, dude, I would forget, like, everything. Like, I just said at the beginning of the episode, I have a lucky egg, and then I was like... Completely forgot I had the lucky egg. That's why I got so much experience. Anyway, anyway, let's go ahead, and that's a Jinx. So, I like how I was worried about fighting an Ice-type, or ha a Suicune having an Ice-type move, and you still have an Ice-type on your team, so... I'm gonna switch into my Lottic, because it resists Ice. I don't think ice resists water. I'm pretty sure water just resists ice. So water gun will probably do decent damage to this Jinx. But anyway, it's funny too because I just watched Finding Dory like 10 minutes ago before I started uh, recording this episode. So I'm kind of the real life Dory. Man, I forget stuff so quickly. I could say something at the beginning of the episode and forget it two minutes in. No joke. No joke. I'm super, super forgetful. It's ridiculous. But let's... Yo, Water Gun did a decent amount. That was just one Water Gun, wasn't it? Calm down. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, can we just take a moment to appreciate the fact that we got frozen? That's not what I was gonna say, by the way. I was gonna say appreciate the fact that... Okay, we thought out turn one. That's good, then. I was gonna say, can we appreciate Bellarive's back sprite? And just as I was about to say that, we get frozen solid. Crazy, crazy, crazy. All right. Well, we'll take that experience and get out of here because I'm not about getting frozen like that. And I, I, I think I'm going to switch Pearl to the front for a little bit because Pearl hasn't got to do really anything yet in this episode. So we'll move him to the front. I'm not a trainer, but if you look one in the eyes, prepare to battle. Thanks. I, I, I figured that out already to be honest, and you got this bug catcher guy here, who I'm pretty sure in gold and silver, he was a spinner, like he was one of the characters that like turns around, and if he spots you, you have to battle him, because I think a lot of speedrunners avoid him and skip that battle, because they can, so, but this time around, he's just chilling over there, he's watching, waiting for you to walk in front, I guess maybe they did that so that you can... You can walk through the grass and avoid him, but have to potentially battle a Pokemon. And he's got a Skitty! How cute. He's got a Skitty, and he wants to fight a Dragonite. Alright. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yo, could you imagine being a trainer in real life? And, like, being, like, a rookie trainer, and somebody coming up, and you're like, you're like, man, I run this route. I battle all the trainers on this route. And you're like, I'll fight you. And then he just pulls out, this rookie trainer pulls out a Dragonite. I would be, I would be done. I would, I would not, I'd just be like, oh, well, GG, my dude. It's been real and it's been fun, but it ain't been real fun. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. And he's got a Nidorino. I'm staying, I'm staying in. Let's fight this Nidorino. Didn't I, weren't there Nidorinos on Route 30, actually? Because if, I feel like I ran into Nidorinos. Maybe it wasn't, maybe it wasn't in an episode. Maybe it was when I was grinding. But I definitely think I remember running into Nidorino because I remember thinking, man, Nidorino would have been a good encounter if I could find a Moonstone. 
anyway, I, I don't remember if that was in an episode or not. Some of you guys who probably know the series better than I do already who have been watching the episodes may remember. But anyway, I definitely think I did on Route 30. It may have just been off screen. Anyway. Anyway, 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 I believe with that we are here to route 31 nice So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide through the grass and I really wanted to make it through the grass I wanted to get to the other side and oh It's a Kendra Bro, and it's female. It's Juvia guys. It's Juvia. Oh my goodness. Bro, I never get to use Kingdra. How many LPs have I had a horsey or a Seedra that I've never gotten to evolve in a Kingdra, into a Kingdra because I couldn't find a dragon skill? Like, usually when I do a randomizer, I turn the trade evolutions off so that Pokemon you normally uh, have to trade to evolve, you can get via level up. But Pokemon like Seedra that evolve by holding an item and trading, you can evolve by level up, but you have to... Um, you have to like give them the item that they hold so I can never find a dragon scale when I have a Seedra or a horsey yo I have to I have yo this is destiny my dude this is we have to get this we can't not get this thing all right so I've got to I've got to get this thing somehow get this thing as low on health as I possibly can okay bro and Kingdra's actually really, really good in 4th gen because it only has one weakness, and that's Dragon type, because Fairy's not a thing yet. Bruh. Yo, if we can have Pearl and Juvia, my life will be complete. My life. The only thing we'll be missing is Amethyst, and oh my goodness. Yo, Kingdra is legit my favorite water type. Kingdra is hands down my favorite water type. Um. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to twister you because that'll probably do way too much. Should I wrap you or? You know what? I'm going to switch into Milotic. I'm going to switch into Milotic because you're water dragon. So I think you four times resist water. I think dragon resists water and water resists water. So I think you should four times resist. So hopefully a water gun is not going to do too much. It shouldn't do very much at all. Okay, yeah. That's that's minuscule damage. Alright. Sweet. Bro, if we can get Kingdra. Oh my goodness, dude. See, I wanted to slide through the grass and go. Because we can get an encounter in Dark Cave as well. I wanted to go to Dark Cave first. But bro, we... And it's female man yo like legit legit pearl is back from the red randomized nuzlocke and then juvia is back from uh the platinum randomizer nuzlocke but this time juvia is fully evolved oh my goodness yo i got i've got to get you whittled down i've got to get you whittled down oh man Oh man, I want you. I need you. I have to have you. You're paralyzed. Yo, I, I kid you not. I will throw every Pokeball that I have at this thing. I will use every Pokeball I have trying to get this thing. I don't even care what my... You know what? The encounter in the next cave could be freaking Mewtwo. I don't care. It could be Ho-Oh. It could be whatever. I don't care. I will use every Pokeball on this Kingdra right now. I am so... Oh my goodness. Okay, you should be able to take one more. You should be able to take one more water gun. You should be able to take one more water gun. Oh, don't crit or something crazy. Oh, man. See, I don't know if it could take another one. That's like just in that range where like i feel like it might could take another one but i'm scared to attack it anyway we'll, we'll throw pokeballs we got we've only got seven pokeballs <laughs> okay let's just let's just throw a pokeball all right juvia we're old friends could you pl oh no don't do this to me don't do this to me juvia juvia don't do this to me 
Don't, don't play these games with my heart. I can't take it. Come on, come on, come on. Shake. Oh, dude, I don't have enough Pokeballs for this. I don't have enough Pokeballs for this. You're playing with my heart. You're playing with my heart. I don't think you can take another Water Gun. Oh, man. All right. Come on, come on. I'm doing all the, I'm doing like all the things. I'm pushing down an A. I'm doing all the tricks that don't actually work. Trying to, oh man, Juvia, don't do this to me. Please don't do this to me. You can't be doing this to me. I've only got four Pokeballs left, Juvia. Please get in the ball. Please, please, please. Oh no, we're not going to get this. We're not going to get this. We got a Dragonite. I can't, like, I can't, I can't possibly have this much luck. I can't possibly get this Kingdra. There's no way that... Oh, it's not even shaking, man. And I, I'm pretty sure I cannot attack you again. I'm pretty sure I cannot attack you again. I've got two Pokeballs. This isn't going to happen. This isn't going to happen. We got it! <gasps> we got Jovia! Let's go! <laughs> Yo, the juice! Our team is literally flames right now. Oh my goodness! It sleeps deep on the ocean floor to build its energy. It is said to cause tornadoes at its wakes. <laughs> Yo, we just got a Kingdra. We just got Juvia. Oh my goodness. Yo, that is wild. That is wild. Yo. This is already, yo, hands down, the best team I've ever had in an LP. Right out the gate. Yo, let's look at this. Oh my goodness, we got Juvia. It's level four. Yo, and it's caught on my birthday! It's caught on my birthday! Oh my gosh, guys! This was a birthday present to me. Juvia is here. I have wanted a Kingdra and an LP for so long. And Arceus smiled on me for my birthday and gave me a Kingdra! <laughs> okay, okay. Anyway, anyway. It's Naughty Nature, which boosts attack, lowers special defense. That's actually, that's actually okay. And it's Sniper, bro! Yo, we're gonna be getting those crits. They're gonna be doing so much damage. Oh my goodness. Juvia! I just broke the fourth wall a little bit. I'm recording this on Sunday. It goes up on Monday. But dude, holler at that. And we could have had a hoot hoot. We could have had a hoot hoot. But we got a Kingdra, man. Oh my goodness. That's actually crazy. That's actually crazy, man. Let's see what this is. It's a Dusk Ball. Okay. Man, I only have like... Now I've only got two Pokeballs, right? Because I was going to say, I can get another encounter. I could get another encounter in... But I've only got two. Although a Dusk Ball would be good for in there. Um... Let's see. I'm going to battle the rest of the trainers on this route. I think it's just one more trainer. And see, I think there may be another item on this route as well. So maybe if we're lucky, this will be a Pokeball. Or a Lumberry. Okay, Lumberry. That's that's pretty good. I'll take a Lumberry. Oh, man. All right. So I'm going to battle this trainer. And then I think I'm going to go and see if I can get a... See if I can buy any more Pokeballs. Bro. We got a Kingdra and a Dragonite on our team. That is actually insane. That is actually... And Bellarive is on our... Oh my goodness. This is for real. The legit, the best team. You know what? And I don't even care that it's another water type. First of all, because... First of all, because... Um... We already have... 
because we have Milotic, so it's another water type, but because fairy type is a thing in this game and it's part dragon type, it doesn't even have the same weaknesses. The only weaknesses it has is dragon, which is super, super good. I think I may have said that already, but I'm so hyped right now, I don't care. That's a Corsola. Let's go into Creeper, because Creeper's four times on it. Yo, that's actually really good. And honestly, I don't even mind having multiple water types on the team. I mean, I wouldn't want a full team of water types, but having multiple water types on the team, I don't mind, because water type is my favorite uh, typing. So, uh, good question of the day. What is your favorite type of Pokemon and why? I really love water types. I think it's just because I've always really been fascinated by, like, marine life and stuff like that. Like, I love going to aquariums, and I just like nautical-themed stuff in general. And so, water types are kind of my favorite. I love how diverse they are. They have the, like, the most diversity of any typing. They're, they're the most abundant type, and, like, they have the most, like, secondary the most variety in secondary typings like water types nearly match up like there's nearly a water type for every other type as well so like you've got water grass types you've got water fire types with volcanion you got water dark types water fairy types like it's incredible and we got a squirtle on the screen not bad so nice and nerdy steve nice and nerdy steve uh you know what no let's stay in let's stay in let's stay in here and fight this squirtle with an oddish which, by the way, thank you guys so much for all of your uh, interaction on the videos and everything. You guys answered the question of the day. Uh, Steve answered the question of the day as well on the last video, which was, uh, which Pokemon do you most want to see me use or see me encounter in this series? Uh, I think Steve said Espeon and Umbreon, which would be absolutely amazing because you guys already know I'm all about some Espeon. If we get an Espeon, bro, this will hands down be the best team I ever have in a series. Best team I ever have in a series. Hands down. That's wild. That's actually wild. Let's see, who else? Uh, Blue Jay commented. She said she would like to see uh, either Miltank or Totodile, which would be pretty sweet. Uh, that'd be another water type. But uh, either way, Miltank, Miltank would be a lot of fun to use as well. I'm going to switch back into Pearl for this... Uh, for this wheezing because I don't want to play with it. Uh, Shadow Vapor, I think, said wanted to see Ho-Oh, which would be crazy. Because as far as legendaries go, Ho-Oh is, like, my favorite. I've always loved Ho-Oh. I think it's a super awesome Pokemon. I'd love to get a Ho-Oh. Um, Venom Star said he wanted to see Weavile, of course. Uh, which would be sweet. Because I don't think I've ever used a Weavile or a Sneasel in a series. So, either of those would be really cool. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's if there's any other suggestions, but anyway, thank you guys so much for all of for uh, all you guys answering the question of the day and stuff like that. And I may I may do things like this where I answer the question of the day. I'm not gonna take your phone number, dude. But I may I may like read some of you guys' responses in the videos and stuff just to be a little bit more interactive with you guys and stuff like that. At least whenever it's like an instance. Like, if I, if I bulk record, I might not do that because it would kind of break the fourth wall a little bit and stuff like that. But uh, I, may, I may occasionally do some of that kind of stuff. So, uh, anyway. I knew it was you, Magic. How'd you get past me? Here's something neat for surprising me, Magic. Yo, Lyra's on that way. She's saying neat. She's saying neat. She said it's neat. Yo, this team is neat. That's what's neat. Oh, my goodness. That's insanity. The first recorder was, rec uh, the first recorder can record your Pokemon battles. That's what she said. I have to go now. I won't let you pass me again. Oh my goodness, man. I need to take a drink because I am like, yo, I've screamed my heart out in this episode. Oh my goodness. All right. So I'm going to heal really quickly and I'm going to run to the Pokemon Center and see if I can buy any more Pokeballs because I bet I battle trainer so maybe I've got a little bit of money left maybe I've got a little bit of money that I can buy pokeballs with I don't know how much money they paid me but surely I've got enough to buy some pokeballs if not I guess we can just go in the dark cave and hope for the best like it's one of those things though it's like it's feel, I feel like my the power has been too real so far because we just got a Kingdra man 
I can buy one Pokeball. <laughs> wow, man. Those rookie trainers are not paying out. I'll tell you what. All right, well, I'm going to buy one Pokeball. That gives us three. One of which is a Dusk Ball, which should be pretty good since it's in a cave. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and I'm going to try an encounter in this cave. I'm going to try an encounter in this cave. And I think there's an item in here if I can navigate. Because I think this... I'm pretty sure that this cave is dark. Like, normally you're supposed to use Flash in here. But the way Fortune is, I think you can actually see the... Uh... What? That's not right. It's not supposed to have... You're not supposed to be able to see, like, around the edges like that. That's the weird thing about these, like, emulators, is sometimes they, like, freak out and don't do certain things graphically. That's really weird, though. I don't remember it doing that in Sacred Gold when I played that. But we got our first encounter, and the first encounter is a... <gasps> Charmeleon? What is this, guys? Like, I don't know what to say. I mean, I will take a Charmeleon. I will take a Charmeleon. No doubt. I just have to catch this thing. And it's going to be hard because it's a starter. Oh my goodness, bro. Okay. I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Kenai. Yo, I just said, it's all, it's all foreshadowing. It's all foreshadowing. I said, this team is actually flames. We find a fire type. What? Okay, um. I'm afraid a scratch will kill you. I'm gonna lick. It's not stab. Oh, jeez, that actually did quite a bit of damage. But I think I can whittle you down as long as I don't crit you. Should be able to take one more. I've only got three Pokeballs, so I have to get it. I have to try and get it kind of low. Okay, okay, okay. I think it can take one more after that. Oh, geez. Do not crit. Please do not crit. Please do not crit. <sighs> okay. <sighs> okay, 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 okay. We got three Pokeballs. We got three Pokeballs to do this. We got three Pokeballs to do this. All right, I'm gonna start with the regular Pokeball. I'm gonna save the Dusk Ball for last. I'm gonna throw the regular Pokeball. Not even a shake. Not even a shake, okay. Okay. You know what, I don't know if this works or not, but I'm gonna lower its stats. I'm gonna lower its stats. I don't know if it actually works, but it seems like I have better luck whenever I lower stats. It's one of those weird things that I don't think actually has any effect on the catch rate of a Pokemon, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna, if anything, I'll take anything at this point. Like, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna lower your special defense all the way down to nothing. And then we're gonna try and throw another Pokeball. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, bro. If we can get a Charmeleon. You know what? I can't even be mad if we don't get this Charmeleon, but... I mean, we've got a Dragonite. We've got a Milotic. We have a Kingdra. <gasps> we got it too! I don't know what to say. It has a barbaric nature in battles. It whips its fiery tail around and slashes away with sharp claws. Bro. I know it's a male, but we still have to, we still have to name it after. Luckily, this name can work for either one, but we definitely have to name it after our good friend Charlie's art. Oh my goodness, guys. <laughs> okay, let me let me let me squirm my way around here and try and scoop up this item really quick. Let me slide around here and get this item really quick if I can. I think you gotta go this way. Found a damp rock. 
Yo, they knew we were gonna... Yo, we got two water titans on the team. It's time to set up the rain and go. Alright. And the, the graphics freaked out. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think here is as good a place as any to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Yo, this episode has been actually insane. Actually insane. Happy birthday to me. Oh my goodness. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this episode up right here. In the next episode, we'll probably pick up back in Violet City and... Uh, we'll explore around there. We may do the Sprout Tower and stuff like that. Because we need some money. We need to be able to get some more Pokeballs. But, oh, I can't even think right now. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button down below for us as always. Thank you so much for your support. And thanks for checking out the video. But I'm going to make like an Abra and get out of here. So, have yourselves a good day. Stay cool. And we will catch you next time.